Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac, and today I'm going to show you how in iOS 6 you'll be able to use the guided access features. So basically, uh, iOS 6 brought to the table a new feature that I think is highly underrated, uh, and it's called guided access. It's an accessibility feature, so if you hop into settings and go to general, you'll want to head down to accessibility, and then scroll down here to guided access. Um, now, it's called an accessibility feature, but I think it's much more than that. Uh, it's designed for people with disabilities or for young children, uh, but it can also be used for a wide variety of other applications as well, uh, including schools and uh, even just to limit access to physical buttons. It's really neat, and I'll show you some of the features. So once you turn it on here, you can set a passcode, and for this demo, I just have it set as 1111. Uh, so this prevents you know anybody from just going in and changing things around. And then you can also enable or disable screen sleep, which is kind of neat. So you can make it so that the device cannot sleep. Uh, so that's pretty neat as well. So now pretty much what you want to do is go to any application you want to restrict. Uh, this case will go to Safari. So let's say I'm a teacher and I want to use a web page in Safari to administer a test. Uh, but I don't want the students to be able to, you know, go to another page or do whatever and, you know, Google search, all different stuff. Uh, so what I can do here is I can just triple click the home button and then select guided access. I'm going to be brought into this menu here, which lets me disallow and you know, restrict different parts of the screen. So let's say that I don't want the students to be able to access this tab bar down here. I can just kind of put a circle around it and it guesses where I want to restrict and then I can refine this area just like that and let's see I don't want them to be able to use the URL bar either uh, you know to cheat Google search or something so I can circle that as well and you know it works pretty well for how bad I'm doing this so now I have those two different areas restricted and then I can search for I can look at the options here rather I can turn off motion let's say so that they can't ro rotate it into uh, landscape mode and then you know, regain access to those areas. So I have that off and then I can hit start. So pretty much here, now I cannot lock the device by myself. It says guided access enabled, triple tap the home button. If I try to go home, it won't let me. So if I want to go home, I'll have to triple tap the home button, enter the passcode, and then it'll bring me back to the guided access menu where I can end or resume. So now that I've resumed, you can see here I can scroll around uh, but there's two grayed out areas. Now, one at the top here and one at the bottom. And you can see there's a little line through them. So basically, if I try to tap in here to go to a URL bar or down here to change a page, it won't let me. And that's pretty nice. So it's a lot of restrictive features like that uh, that make this application very useful. So now there's you know other things you could do with this too. So let's just turn this off. Um, let's say that you have a small child and you want them to be able to use your iPhone but you don't want them you know going to the app store and searching apps or whatever uh, let's say you just want them to play a game that they really like uh, for example here maybe they like to play tiny wings so you can go into this app and by restricting guided access you can go into here and you can make sure that they won't be able to you know, leave the app. And you don't have to select any areas on the screen. Uh, just by starting this, now they won't be able to leave the app. So if they want to go do something else, they won't be able to until you put in the passcode to let them. So that's pretty neat. So now this is also pretty good for gaming, in my opinion, just uh, for yourself. So let's say you're playing Temple Run here, and uh, you do a lot of swiping in this game. And normally, if you're swiping around, it's very easy to accidentally trigger that notification center little banner up there. And sometimes if you're really playing it, uh, you'll accidentally trigger notification center. Or maybe you hit the home button by accident. Uh, anything like that, it's really annoying. So just by enabling a guided access, you hit start. Now you can't access notification center. You can't accidentally hit the home button. Uh, it's really good for gaming if you're really into the game and you want a couple more controls over you know what you can and cannot do now as far as accessibility feature goes this is really handy for people with disabilities too uh, because you can enable things such as restricted parts of the screen you know limiting certain parts of you know the physical features physical buttons rather and you can also turn on things like voiceover or zoom so you know you could use safari 
uh, very easily like this with uh, both voiceover on like this. So you have you know things like voiceover, and you can use them in combination with these new guided access features, and zoom, and you know inverting the colors on the screen, and this really makes the iPhone and iOS in particular uh, a really powerful platform for you know accessibility, and there's just a lot of features, and I think this guided access thing is pretty neat, and it, I think it's really overlooked with iOS 6, but in my opinion, it could be one of the coolest features. So that's about all. I just kind of wanted to show you you know, what guided access will be like in iOS 6. As always, if you have anything that you'd like to see me make a video on, or if you found any new features in iOS 6 Beta 2, assuming you're a developer, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.